What you see behind me is a campsite in the wilderness, about three and a half hours from my home, camping with my mates. And from here, I'm going to bring you industry news and news of the channel, and um, particularly good news for people who live in Western Australia that follow the channel. I'm Andrew Cynthia White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and travelling to the remotest parts of the world. Right, lots of exciting things happening. The four-wheel drive adventure show in its usual venue, uh, first weekend in November, and I will be there doing a little presentation and doing a Q&A to uh, the, the people at the show 11.15 and 1.45 on the Friday and Saturday and then at 11.30 in the morning on the Sunday and uh, come and have a look at the Aussie Dream Tourer we will be there um, I've teamed up with uh, Amtron batteries and of course our Egon products are going to be there too so come and say hello that's that I'm looking forward to that. This is my first time in uh, Australia actually doing a presentation at a uh, at a, a trade venue. That's 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 quite that's pretty nice. Then this is a big one for me personally. Anyway, my feature film, Crowd the Kalahari. Uh, which has already been released to Patreons will be will be shown at a venue. Now this is a charity event. The venue is the Albany uh, Albany Theatre. Albany, the name is written right there. I will put it the proper name for the venue. But it's basically it's a playhouse theatre, and uh, the showing is on the fifth of December. That's a Saturday. Uh, we begin that the actual showing begins at 7:30, but get there a little bit earlier. It, the, the, the the dream tour will be parked outside, and my family will be with me, and I'll give a very short presentation. You'll watch the film, and um, then 50% of the gate money will go goes to a local charity. And again, in the description, you'll see a link to a web page giving the the rundown of what we're doing. Everybody who buys a ticket, and I think they're $15 a ticket, is entered into a raffle automatically. 50% goes to the charity and you stand to win one of the prizes. Now prizes that I've already got in my hamper, <clears throat> they're really nice prizes. They're all related to four wheel drive and camping and they're all, you want to have these prizes. They're really nice. Um, and everybody is entered and then we will pick out of a hat my family will pick out of a hat and then the first person that's picked out gets to choose what they want and the second person gets to choose what's left until we run out of prizes I'm hoping to have about 10 prizes I'm hoping to have 10 prizes okay so that's the goal anyway the other bit of industry news that um, is worth mentioning right now the guys behind me are from uh, there's Heiner from uh, Perth Pro um, and Klarman Auto Electrical. They do the, they've done the electrical fittings into in the in the Aussie Dream Tour, and of course there's Rob and Jan and John all worked on the Aussie Dream Tour while it was at Quick Pitch. They have started the well, particularly Jan and and Rob have started their own business in Perth uh, called. Uh, Pro Camp Solutions. They are, have, have moved away from Quick Pitch. Quick Pitch still uh, making and selling their um, their kitchen units, their, their their rooftop tents, their awnings, their ensuite, uh, and their other products in their then in their um, venue. That hasn't changed. These guys have moved away and started their own business, and they are doing custom fabrication for vehicles, just just like what they did uh, before at. Um, at a quick pitch so that's a bit of industry news that I think is worth uh, sharing with you come and see some of their handiwork at the four wheel drive adventure show they there are two vehicles that they have worked on this one and another one in terms of um, the Egon uh, DC hub that you've seen and 
previous shows, that's going to now be for the first time. Because of COVID-19, there have been difficulties with manufacturing, but we now have, it's now going to be available and for the first time actually sold a direct to the public at a trade show. And um, we have two other projects. We can't sell them now because we're, they're in testing. The, the DC hub is fully tested and we're, we're, we're so happy with it. It's now ready for, for sale for 15 minutes at 130 amps. This is just to show. The other one is called a water hub. And at the show, you'll be able to take a look at this guy here. This is a water hub. Does the same job as the DC hub, except with plumbing and the water systems in caravans and four wheel drives and camper trailers. And this is the number one prototype, which we now have on test. And eventually I'm gonna fit one into the Aussie Dream Tourer. So that will then uh, have one in for me to test and then we've got a third product which is in the prototype stage uh, which you can come and have a look at as well I'm not going to say anything about it now right that's the important bits out of the way um, Gwyn and I are, are building a studio all of those people that are loving Gwyn as part of the show it's fantastic come on up absolutely wonderful it, it's it's <laughs> what I've done is I've created a special playlist on YouTube where you can, where it lists all of the trips Gun and I and stories Gun and I have told together, and there are a lot of them. So those of you who think that Gun is actually quite new to the channel, not really. She's been around for a while, so you can go in and have a look at that. The the idea behind the studio is that I, and it's uh, the idea came to us about five months ago, and it was reinforced this week because I found three products that I that I was it, they were wow products it was amazing new technology new ideas just new stuff so I'm starting a series and it's going to be called look what I found I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do at least one a week for a, a period of time and I'm looking for really interesting products all of them will be related to uh, four-wheel drive camping expedition travel right that's the window and I've actually in the vehicle now got two that I'm going to start with and I've got a plan of another six that I have on my list and that I've only been thinking about this for about a day so I've got so many so much kit in this vehicle that I'm using and I love I said, I haven't mentioned, I haven't shared it with anybody. So the idea behind the studio is that I don't necessarily have to come out to a place like this to review a product. Yes, I need to come out to a place like this to thoroughly test a product. So the reviews and the products will be a mixture of those that I'm using and I've tested and I can come up with some really valuable information on the pros and cons of that product, but also it's just simply, maybe it's just, I don't want to use it, but I just think it's a great idea. Well, I want to share it with you as well. For example, I saw the other day a lithium battery that is this big and this thin. Now think about what you could do with that. You could now put 200, easily 200 amp hour worth of battery storage in a SUV behind the seat wouldn't take up any space at all and they're light when I saw it I thought hang on a minute this opens <laughs> so many possibilities and the products that I'm seeing I've never seen so many products that are really interesting arrive on the market in such a small space of time in my life and I want to share it with you what else did I need to say? Oh, I needed to thank the Patreons again for your support. With the Cry of the Kalahari film, um, I was able to release the show to them. They, they watched it and then they fed back me information. Because it's a feature film, it's a, it's a proper feature documentary. It's not, 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 it was not edited for YouTube, it's edited for a different format. And so they were able to give me such a valuable, seriously valuable uh, comment on that like a test audience and I've now done the recut and the recut has been released to them and that is the recut that will be uh, shown in December on December the 5th in Albany it's called the Albany Entertainment Center that's what it's called right okay so um, 
oh, fire's going and wind's starting to die down and being, flies have been quite bad, but they're going as well. So um, that's me for now. Thank you for watching.